Mobile and collaborative robots, virtual assembly lines, digital manufacturing. It's not science fiction, but the fourth industrial revolution. Whether it's Germany's Industry 4.0, Made in China 2025, or France's creative industry, the goal is the same. Build tomorrow's factory. The nature of international competition makes it essential to innovate on the assembly line and modernise manufacturing systems to stay in the game. How to prepare for this transformation? In an effort to find the answer, we went to Saclay, near Paris. Here, French researchers and manufacturers are developing and testing tomorrow's industrial technologies in two lab factories. Welcome to the factory of the future. The first impression is one of a typical factory, an assembly line and employees in smocks building scooters. But in this facility, vehicles move about by themselves and robots have no cage. We're at ICO, the innovation center for operations. Launched last October by the Boston Consulting Group, ICO aims to be a test center for Industry 4.0. The group's clients can get training in the use of new technologies on real assembly lines in the center's 1200 meter square facility. Since it opened, a thousand people have been trained at the site. The day of our visit, I co-hosted both clients and journalists. The site director introduces a new technology designed to help machine operators assemble scooter parts digitally. So this system is a projector. The assembly instructions are presented using PowerPoint type software. You can transmit instructions via this non-tactile surface. The system recognizes the position of the fingers. So here are the first steps. It's asking me to place this part here. This indicates the assembly position for this new part. I continue by clipping the part in place. For a new part or a new operator, it will even indicate where to find the screws and how many to take. The system also recognizes if the tubs are moved. It offers complete guidance to the operator. The 15 or so BCG employees working at the site choose the technologies from among the best in the market. Fanuc robots rub shoulders with MIR AGVs and Dassault system digital simulation software. We follow along behind team leader Sergi. He uses augmented reality, self-guided vehicles and cobots to assemble the scooters. The MES is the order sheet. It sent me the product to be monitored in augmented reality. I just have to put the AR tablet in position. The parts to monitor appear in three dimensions, highlighted in blue. I just tap here to get three options. If the part is good, it changes to green. If it is missing, it changes to azure. The badly installed part becomes red. This enables me to ensure that the chassis goes to the assembly line with no defects. Once monitored on the AR tablet, the report is transmitted directly to the MES. I validate and the scooter moves away on the AGV. We're off to the assembly line. The self-guided vehicle determines its own location and maps its environment, identifying the areas it can't go. But a moving obstacle doesn't prevent it from completing its tasks. It stops before hitting me and tries to navigate around me. And proceeding to the next station, here's the assembly of a headlight and a rear wheel weighing 15 kilograms. And there's a new co-worker. In the factory of the future, robots will leave their cages to work hand in hand with their operators. These cobots reduce or even eliminate the physical burdens of certain tasks. To avoid having to pick up 15 kilos 60 times an hour, which is the number of scooters turned out each hour, this cobot takes the wheel and puts it over here, reducing my physical effort to nothing. It's a one-ton robot I can move around easily with just two fingers. I place the wheel here. 
During a seven-hour day with 60 wheels an hour, this greatly reduces physical effort, allowing us to focus on accuracy and the quality of the work. As a team leader, I no longer have to train workers to perform a task. I train them to use the technology, and the technology trains them to do the work. Technology that trains workers, that's the real innovation in tomorrow's factory. Industry 4.0 embodies enormous potential in terms of flexibility, productivity, agility and speed. At this site, it takes less than five minutes to assemble a scooter. The goal of the BCG is to reduce this to 45 seconds. Technology must boost performance according to the operations director. It's a new way to work faster, to introduce a wider range of products. You're going to introduce assembly line changes digitally for making physical changes. This saves operational time. More errors in the virtual world mean fewer errors in the real world. That's savings. As with augmented reality, you can handle more complexity on a single line. For example, in a few months, the scooter line behind me will also be producing closed dryers at the same time it turns out scooters. This constitutes an enormous opportunity for mature economies like ours to have such sites nearby. After Germany and the United States, the BCG is preparing to open a new laboratory in Singapore. A few kilometers from ICO, the CEA, France's Atomic Energy Commission, is developing these very technologies of the future. Open last September, the factory lab deals with concrete industrial situations common to the PSA, Safran and its other partners. It carries out 20 projects a year with a five-year budget of 40 million euros. We follow Vincent, a research engineer, into the CEA basement. He shows us a virtual reality simulator. Six screens play an extract replica of a PSA assembly line in northeast France. The goal of the team use this digital twin to create a virtual assembly line prototype before construction at the automaker's site. Avec ce genre de lunettes, on va pouvoir suivre la position grâce à des caméras. With this type of glasses, we can follow the position via cameras located in the corners of each screen. The video projectors display images that are recalculated at each step as a function of the position of the glasses. I can move around anywhere to examine certain spots more closely or walk around the robot or the line. The cameras in each corner project infrared rays and identify these little spheres. Together, the spheres give us a constellation that, after discrimination, we know determines a certain periphery, while here we know it's the wearer's head. This type of simulation will help assembly line and robot designers by saving time. They'll be able to test and compare different robot arrangements and immediately determine the best one. For the operator, the advantage is in training. Using a workstation that doesn't yet exist in a factory, the operator learns the new tasks. Arriving on the real line, the operator is already familiar with the workstation. On aura déjà été mis, on va dire, dans l'ambiance de ce nouveau poste. Vincent is now wearing a virtual reality headset. He and Claude, another CEA engineer, test in-house developed software to simulate an operation on the virtual PSA line. Pour cette ligne-là, on peut simuler autant d'opérateurs qu'on le souhaite. For this line, we can simulate as many operators as we want. Each operator wears a virtual reality headset. We can have as many cobots as we want. Vincent will simulate the first workstation where the crankshaft is placed in the engine. He can confirm task feasibility and that the gripper is well adapted to the task. He can verify cycle time and safety considerations, that he won't get his fingers caught during the operation. The material consists of a virtual reality headset with this little camera to detect the position of my hands. Then there's the XDE software developed by CEA List, which enables us to program the mechanical gestures so that they control the robot in a natural way. We're working with our industrial partners on software ergonomics to create something easily used by non-experts. We want line operators to give us feedback and use the system. While some fear that machines will replace human factory workers, the CEA is optimistic. 
In the factory of the future, operator skill levels will even rise. Our technological roadmap does not include replacing humans. On the contrary, we envision the human operator at the heart of the factory, because tomorrow's factory will be based on human capabilities to modify products and procedures rapidly by modifying the assembly line. And it's people who will affect production line modifications to adapt it to product evolution in accord with client requests. It's really the best possible human-machine alliance for greater industrial flexibility. Yes, it's an opportunity. At very least, it avoids us losing ground with respect to foreign competitors who will undoubtedly take advantage of these new technologies. Thanks to our innovative capacities, we're one of the most innovative countries in certain areas, like the digital domain. We can retake the lead in certain industries, which will boost employment in France. According to a BCG study in Germany, 4.0 modernization could destroy 650,000 jobs while creating a million new ones. But won't they concern only large conglomerates? According to Dassault, involved in the lab, small and medium-sized companies are also targeted. Since we are looking for greater standardization, we think SMEs are our real audience. The more you standardize, the more abundant becomes the market offer, making things more affordable for SMEs. In particular, we think that the possibility of placing all these tools in the cloud will substantially reduce IT costs for SMEs, because here they are still significant. Today, 1,500 French small medium enterprises are engaged in industrial modernization. Will this enable France to capture the lead from historic competitors like Germany? In any case, it is the wish of the new French president Emmanuel Macron Last year we met him at Hanover Mess. Bonjour à Creative Industry. Bonjour à toutes et tous et merci en tout cas pour l'énergie, la démonstration qui a été faite ce matin de l'innovation française dans tous ses aspects, de cette capacité justement à aller de l'avant. Parce que c'est comme ça que la reconquête industrielle se fera dans le pays. Our investigation into these two lab factories enables us to see the outline of tomorrow's factories. More competent workers, collaborative robots and virtual manufacturing systems will result in a greater flexibility and productivity. In addition, technologies like low-cost sensors that make systems more intelligent and collaborative robots at less than 10,000 euros are within everyone's reach. The factory of the future might even be the factory of today.